hello what's up guys in this video i'm gonna be showing you how we are going to recover our apple id that we just recently deleted so if you have changed your mind that you want to recover it and you want your apple id account back since you cannot use the apple services without it then this is gonna be the way how we're going to um, recover it okay so just a note to everyone please make sure that you are going to recover your um, apple id account before the seventh day uh, from the day that you have uh, deleted your Apple ID because Apple will take up to seven days in deleting your account then it's advisable that we recover our Apple ID account prior to that okay so of course if you have deleted your Apple ID account you will receive an email like this then what we're going to do is open on that email particular message and then scroll down and click on Apple support and then we're going to be redirected to their website and then what we're going to do is to choose um, disabled Apple ID let's click on that and then um, let's choose the Apple ID is not active alert and then click on continue and then we're going to be choosing between call or chat so let's click on call first let's try to call and let's fill in or fill out the information that we need to uh, provide them so that they will be able to reach us out so we're going to be hitting on that continue and then let's wait for Apple call support to call us. Okay. Here. So let's um, answer the call. I didn't hear anything. If you're ready to speak to an advisor, press 1 to reschedule this call for another time. Calls are recorded for quality and training. If you prefer not to be recorded, Press 1. Alright, the call won't be recorded. Thank you for calling Apple. Calls are answered in the order they are received. We appreciate your patience. Apple is happy to offer a choice of music while you wait. For a selection of modern popular music, press 1. For classical, 2. For jazz, three. If you prefer to wait in silence, press four. So as you can see here, we are given an option to wait uh, while we are being um, redirected to a certain Apple advisor and we were given a choice or option to just listen to a music while we are waiting for the certain advisor to um, talk to us. So what we're going to do here is we're going to try the chat option just a while ago that I showed to you because we have actually the call and chat option so let's try that out. We're going to do that while we are waiting for the advisor to call us, okay? So we're back at here and we're going to be clicking on the previous page so that we'll be able to see the chat option. And then of course, uh, let's click on continue and then we'll be redirected to a certain advisor via chat. So Apple will actually just notify us if there will be an advisor available to talk to us. So. It says that help is on the way and we will see which of which will help us. Is it the call or the chat? How can I help you today? Actually, I just um, deleted my Apple ID just uh, I think two days ago and I changed my mind and I don't know how to recover it. Oh, okay. So you want to stop the deletion process of your Apple ID. Yes, that's right. Okay, no worries. Let's have a look into this and see what we can do. Okay, so I'm just going to place you on hold, get a few resources on my end, and I'll be back very shortly, okay? Okay. Thank you. So while waiting, I'm going to be putting on my screen to be recorded. So here it is. So what you could see here on my screen, actually, this is the chat support which was able to uh, give us a particular advisor to assist with our problem and let's tell the advisor particularly the specific um, information about our issue so what I'm doing here is that I'm telling them in detail on how my problem occurred and that I wanted to recover my Apple ID account which I just deleted like two days ago 
and then they're gonna be asking us for the particular Apple ID and then let's just provide them that and then they will say that our um, data will not be intervened meaning um, they're just going to take us through the steps and how they're going to fix our issue and then of course since we deleted our Apple ID uh, we were actually given the access code during that deletion because that is the only way that we'll be able to um, recover our account which we are going to provide to the advisor to the apple support and you see right here i'm receiving an email which means or which says your apple id will not be deleted soon and you see uh, the other um, advisor is now calling me so i'm going to be uh, making a video or taking a video of our uh, conversation calls are recorded for quality and training if you prefer not to be recorded press one all right the call won't be recorded I received an email already. Hello. Hello. This yes. Is from Apple Care. Yes. Am I speaking? Yes. Hello. Yes. Hello. Yes. This is Guy from Apple Care. Am I speaking with Chris? Yes. Yes, you are. Um, yeah. Just looking to just call you back because we got disconnected. Yeah. Um, so, just want to have a look into this one, so I will need to grab that access card from you. I Actually, I received an email from Apple a while ago, and it says that my Apple ID will not be deleted, and I can resume using my oh, okay. account immediately. Oh, okay, so you've received an email saying that it won't be deleted. Yes. Okay, fantastic. I'm glad to hear that. Can I use my, my, my Apple ID now? Well, you can definitely try. It might take a little bit of time. You can go to appleid.apple.com and see if it lets you log in. Okay. I'll try. Okay. Thank you. No worries. Have a good rest of your day. Okay. Bye. Bye. So, what we're going to do is to go to apple's website and then let's try to log in our apple id that we just recently recovered well just a little bit of detail or information as you can see a while ago we were able to fix our problem or issue via chat support meaning we were able to like recover our apple id through the help of an advisor from the chat support of apple and that our call support actually took a lot of time to uh, find the a solution to our problem but when we talked to the chat support it was like just you know a couple of minutes that uh, fixed our problem compared to the call support so I'd suggest that if you really want uh, a quick fix so better you go to the chat support rather than the call support because you're gonna be just waiting for a lot of you know a couple of minutes more and more minutes and then um, it's not going to fix your problem that quickly